Hello, I am Res Final, and today I am going to review Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I know a lot of people have expressed their opinions on this, and I wanted to do my own review. I was kind of... I went to the midnight for this. What can I say? I'm a bit of a loser. But anyways, I did enjoy this. I enjoyed it a lot. Even though it's broken beyond belief, it's still a lot of fun to play. It's a broken, broken, very... My good lord, it's broken game. But it's just a blast to see Marvel vs. Capcom. I hope they bring back Capcom vs. SNK. Finally make number three. Because that the reason why I want that one to come back is because they did have a lot of people from Rival School in it. And what I did like about this is... It's more easier to control your characters. It's almost the same battle system as Tessanoka vs. Capcom. But instead of two people, you have three. Three people. And I'm a little bummed they still... They didn't add some of the characters from last time, but... A smaller roster does make it a little bit more hands-on. But they said they were going to add more characters, so... Hope for Mega Man. Hope for Mega Man. And... There's just so much positivity for this, it was really fun, but because they're going to charge me a little bit, and because how broken it is, not a very balanced game at all, I have to give it a 2.5 out of 3. I really did love it a lot, I am still playing it, but it's a 2.5 out of 3 for me. And if you want to give it a try, I recommend it, and if you have the PS3 one, I'll play you. Anyways, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 2.5 out of 3. I'm Riz Final, and I am out.